Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. I'll get you to Lakeview here while we uh, wait for some people to jump on. Remember to take the earpiece out today, so that's a plus. That's a plus. Oh, we got some fish over here. See, I'm swimming. Try not to fall in the water. Any more fish swimming here? Who's getting on? Who's getting on? There's Dawn. Good morning, Dawn. All right, all right. Hampstead Lake State Park. A few miles from Malvern. Literally like a 10 minute ride. And you feel like you're upstate. There's Benny, there's Benny. Good morning, I saw the eyes, Benny. All right, all right. So this morning we uh, took a ride over to the lake. Keep switching it up a little bit. We go from uh, from lake to sea and back to lake. But uh, the force of average was pretty strong. Caught a lot of people this morning. But Janine showed up. <laughs> so Janine uh, says that uh, she got to get up to go to the bathroom, so she might as well go ride. I like that excuse. That's God telling you it's time to go ride. Makes you got to pee, so you got to get up and go ride. I like it. So uh, we're over here at the lake. We got a couple people joining us. Oh, there we go. There we go. A couple more people joining us. All right. All right. Let me turn around here so you can uh, see what's going on behind me here. And uh, today's message I'm going to talk about is what do you stand for? Think about it. What do you stand for in life? Today I'm going to a um, uh, change of command ceremony for a good friend of mine, John Batanti, who's a lieutenant colonel in the uh, Marine Corps. Um, good dude. I met John about two years ago uh, when he came to Malvern and he uh, needed to uh, find a house to rent for his family. They do a two-year uh, contract and he was here uh, over at the Marine base over by the Roosevelt Field Mall. A lot of you have seen it. Uh, there's a Marine base over there, Stewart Avenue. And John's over there, running a show over there. And today is two years, and he's transferring uh, command to the new commander. And I had a goal, actually, once I met John and got to know, know him, what a good guy he was, that uh, I wanted him to stay in Malvern. So I said, yeah, you're going to retire in Malvern. This is, this is your new home. And uh, we laughed about it, and... Uh, a couple months ago, I heard that uh, he was transferring out, I believe, to Rhode Island was his next command. And um, he, uh, he decided that um, he's going to stay. And uh, at the last minute, <clears throat> we found him a house. Uh, just did the appraisal on Monday. The home inspection is done. It's in contract. And he is staying with us in Malvern forever. So that's kind of kind of a cool thing. Great family. Part of, part of the family here in Malvern already. So, uh, so today I'm going to his uh, transfer of command or change of command ceremony. Uh, it's a really cool thing. I'll put a bunch of pictures up. I was there when he got installed and uh, cool stuff. So if we talk about what do you stand for, here's someone that stands for a lot. Stands for our country, um, stands for good versus evil, uh, sacrifices himself uh, for the greater good of the country. Um, definitely no uh, selfishness there. Uh, he can, uh, you know, he gets up every day and protects our country, protects our freedoms. And I uh, <clears throat> just want to thank him for that. Thank all the Marines and all the uh, military out there that, that basically put their lives on the line every day for their country. So it makes me think about what do you stand for? Now, obviously, many of us aren't in the military. Um, but do we stand up for good versus evil? Do we stand up for right, right is wrong? Do we do the right thing every day, even when no one is watching? Um, what do you stand for? What do you stand for? Um, myself, yes, I stand for um, whatever I can do to good in the world, promote good in the world. Um, my friend David Gus, and I should tag him on here, he has a saying, uh, where hate makes headlines, goodness needs to speak up. So in a world where there's a lot of bad, there's also a lot of good. The goodness needs to speak up. The bad seems to always make the headlines, and uh, we need the good to make the headlines. So... Think about that. What do you stand for? What do you do? Do you volunteer? 
Uh, last night I was on duty for police reserves. I'm in like 23, 24 years, uh, court officer over in the court. Started that years ago because I wanted to give back and uh, it's a great brotherhood. Uh, my buddy Frank actually is talking about joining. We met last night. Um, I help out at the farm because I think that's a great cause. It's a beautiful place. Um, it's a struggle and I know I can help. I do that. And there's other things in the community I try and get involved in because I want to stand for something. Um, we all have the power to do stuff in this world. We all are someone. I said the other day on a, a podcast, on a, uh, not a podcast, on my video, that um, basically uh, if you say someone should do something about that, you know, you hear a lot of people, oh, that's bad, that's horrible. Someone should do something about that. Well, you know what? You are someone, so go do something about it. Go do something about it. Go stand for something. Go make a difference in the world. And uh, you'll feel better. That The world will be a better place. If we all did one thing a day, uh, that made the world better. Think about how much better the world would be. So anyway, so that's our message for today. What do you stand for? Be honest with yourself. Stand for something. Don't just exist. We talk about the force of average. Don't be average. Stand out of the crowd. Do great things. All right, all right. So that's the message. We're going to jump into prayers. Janine, you leading? Yeah, no. no? Come on. Come on. Janine's got to lead. Father Eugene is in uh, New Jersey today visiting his mom, so he got a pass. Mom Wearing always. My beach Catholic. There you go. For the, uh, oh yeah, she got the beach, the beach Catholic sweatshirt for the beach mass. I've never done that. I want to do that. Awesome. Sounds fun. When is that? When are they doing? They do it in Long Beach every Sunday from Memorial Day to Labor Day. It's, they alternate where it is. I can send this. Yeah, send me. That's awesome. I want to check that out. Six thirty at Long Beach. Six thirty. We could ride there. Oh, we could ride ride the church. Oh, p.m. Oh. You guys get up too late. <laughs> uh, you owe me a shirt. I got a Lake George Conservancy shirt on today. Represent Lake George. Represent Lake George today. And then uh, we got uh, we got Antonio's. We got the Antonio's hat on. It was freaking cold this morning. Holy cow. So, uh, all right, all right. So let's do our prayers. Lord in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thy women, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All right, all right. Take the road less traveled. Take the road right less here. traveled. Oh, oh. oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know if we can see it. Where are we? Oh, yeah. Take the road less traveled. So that goes along with the message today. Go stand for something. Take the road less traveled. A lot of people don't stand for anything. They just exist. We don't exist. We prosper. We do good things. Um, God, please uh, look over all our mil military uh, people out there. Um, uh, John's uh, transferring command today, and uh, he's going to be moving on to uh, civilian life, and uh, that is uh, very honorable uh, that he's put so many years in for our country. And uh, John, we thank you. We thank all the military. So God, look over our military people. Oh yeah, and our graduates. Everyone's graduating uh, this week. We got a lot of graduates going out in the world. Um, <clears throat> put the wind beneath their wings and uh, <clears throat> let them do great things. Let them not be average. So, all right, everyone. Happy beautiful Wednesday. Let me give you one more one more peek at the lake. Hempstead Lake State Park. You'd swear you're up at Lake George. It's like glass today. It's like glass. So again, everyone that's in the Malvern area, Hempstead Lake State Park, you go ride right down Eagle Avenue, right into the park. And this is what you get to see. So come ride at dawn with us. As you know, 6 a.m. every morning we ride at dawn. I may go to the Hamptons this weekend. I'll be riding at dawn from the Hamptons. That means Benny's going to be riding at dawn from Malvern. And then we're going to go live together on the screen. And we'll do a, a Hamptons and a Malvern ride. What do you think of that, Benny? Is that going to work? That'll be a first. So uh, 6 a.m. every morning. We ride, we get exercise 10 miles during the week, 20 miles on the weekends, plus or minus. I'm doing about 100 miles a week and uh, feeling great. 
It's fun to get out and see you guys in the morning. I appreciate the messages everyone's sending me. It's fun. Um, any questions or comments or anything, please jump in the, jump down in the comment section and uh, let me know what's going on in your life. Let me know if you got any wins going on. Let me know what your uh, plans for the weekend are, what, what's good in life. We want to hear about the good in life. Jump in there, comment. Please hit like, love. All that stuff helps Facebook uh, think this is important and shares it for more people to see so we can get our message out. So please, uh, please throw some love down there, comments and uh, likes and all that good stuff makes Facebook uh, push it further so more people can see it. So uh, I appreciate all of you. I appreciate you being here every morning. And we're going to get on with our ride so this morning. Uh, like I said, I'm going over to see my buddy John get his uh, transfer of command ceremony. Uh, maybe I'll go live from that. It's freaking awesome. It's such a cool thing to see. And then um, what do we got today? Then we got a, I got a home inspection at uh, 1 p.m. over in Limbrook. And then uh, back to the office. And then tonight we have a merchant's meeting. At Connolly's, and then we are back uh, at the Broadway Tavern for a little get together for Johnny. So, uh, busy day as always. My days are always packed, but uh, all good stuff. All right, everyone, have a great day. We'll see you soon, 6 a.m. tomorrow. Come ride with me. Six, we're doing about 6.40, we're doing live during the week. So, uh, tune in, and we'll see you then. God bless.